Bora. We're at the Denson Beach Causeway Park. We're on the west side, face the east. Behind me is Jensen Beach. Ahead of me is uh, Hutchinson Island. See the lizards, the gamma lizards running around? Anyway, this is a great area. You come here for fishing, you come here for just a picnic, you come here just to relax, just have a nice chill moment. There are, I think about 14 or 15 pavilions. Don't quote me on that. There'll be a link in the description for more information about the, pav the pavilions. Some of the, one, a couple of the pavilions are, used to be or still are, reservable. Otherwise, most of them are first come, first serve. Uh, you can reserve, and I think the largest of the pavilions, and one of them is my favorite. This place used to look different a long time ago. It was nice then too. But they're going, it's going through some changes. There was a time when any old boat would be out there. Some of them looked like wrecks. Some of them looked abandoned. And uh, the county or state or whatever uh, had them all moved or evicted or whatever the case may be. I don't know what the process was, but they're all gone. And so then they built this mooring facility and built a pier. And so now you've got people, you know, come and they moor their boats. And there's a pier here, which never used to be here years ago. So it, that's an improvement. That's a definite improvement. And so now the boats that are out there, they look like nice. They look like nice, well kept boats. They're not just wrecks that somebody's just living in. You know, they used to be wrecks out here. Some look like they weren't even seaworthy, but now everything looks nice out here. It's a nice looking place. It's a progress. They've made progress by doing that. So, as I said, there's the causeway. That's the bridge. You go over the bridge. You can see cars are going up and over the bridge. And uh, they're going to come down on the east side, which would be the Hutchinson Island side. So, that would be great. I'll film that later. That'll probably be a part two. I like this side more. Uh, 95% of the time. Look at the gamma lizard running. You see him? I'll tell you more about him. That's a red-headed agama. A red-headed African agama. I'll tell you more about him. Uh, there'll be more information in the links in the description also. So, uh, I lost my train of thought. Look at that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anyway, this is one of the pavilions. Nice. 
all the pavilions have at least one table, one picnic table, and uh, that's not like that's an agama. Do you see him? And that's probably a female. No, that doesn't even look like an agama. I don't know what that one is. Yeah, that's an agama. I can tell from the head. Yeah, it's probably an adolescent, an adolescent female. See how fast he's running? I can't believe he came that close to me. I'll tell you more about that too. So, um, all all the pavilions have at least one uh, picnic table, and it, and and unless there's some construction going on, at least one grill. All of them have at least this small, regular sized grill. But then a few of them have the very large grills that you know you can come with a bunch of people and have a great cookout. Yeah, I thought so. Somebody told me the uh, pavilions are numbered now. So this is actually pavilion number one, right? So in, in all actuality, I think it's about 13 to 14 because I saw one that said 14 uh, on, in a picture. So this would be obviously pavilion number two. Okay, so, so here it is. Somebody's already here enjoying their day. Look at this, somebody's in the hammock. And there's the grill. See, it's a wonderful place to come and relax, man. And I guess you can hear the breeze blowing against the camera. It's a very good breeze blowing. The kind of breeze that'll knock you out if you lay out in the shade somewhere. Put you to sleep. That's a, that's a beautiful thing. Now this is a large pavilion right here. This is about the size of the one that I like further down. The one that I always come to. What I like about these, the two largest pavilions, let's see, I'll get the number. What I like about them is that it has two grills. We have the regular size grill that I showed you a minute ago. And then it has this one that's four times the size. This is a huge thing. Man, could you imagine this? Can you imagine having a party and cooking on this thing? The fire that comes off this thing is amazing. And I've done it a few times. Wonderful. Great time. So this is obviously pavilion number three. So this is good to know because I think the largest pavilions are the ones that are reservable. And what, there are six, there are six uh, picnic tables here. So I'll double check. I'll leave the links, of course. There goes the lizard run again. I'll leave the links, of course, right? And uh, I'll leave the links, of course. And I will um, try to give you some information on how to uh, how to uh, get in contact with whoever you need to get in contact with to reserve a pavilion. So this is the mooring facility. I, I really want to go around the whole thing. Let's go around the back first. So all of this is new. This is, this is actually the back. And there's the pier that they built that is now open. It's been open probably close to a year, I'd say. Really a great place. There's the, there's the proper name. Jensen Beach Mooring Facility. All right. Now let's get the front to see what the front looks like. Here's the information at the gate. Okay, let's get a little closer. I hope you can read that. The screen turns a little dark. The sun is not cooperating with me. And it's code access. Very good. Very good. So let's take a look at the front. Let's take a look at the front of the uh, facility. As you can see, there's ample parking. There's handicapped parking right here. There's parking all over the place, but you know, for folks like me who have uh, some disabilities, walking too long, stuff like that. Uh, it's nice to know that there's hand, handicapped parking available. And this is the front entrance. Hi. Hi, sir. It's okay, it's okay. So this is the front entrance. It looks closed. So, so it looks closed. And here we go. People getting ready to start their day and enjoy their day. That's what it's all about. The pelicans are here. See them? To witness it. 
There's a little bit of shade for a minute. That's the bridge ramp going up and over. You'll see. We'll get this soon. You'll see how great this place is, man. This is really a nice place. I, I, I can't, I can't uh, emphasize that enough. It's really, I mean, if you want to come out, spend some time outside, have a nice day, you know, uh, this is a great place to do it. Uh, I hope the wind is not causing too much trouble. There's nothing I can do about that. These are the fish cleaning stations. When I back up, I'll show it a little more. Here are the pelicans. Anything you clean and throw away, these guys are here to help you dispose of it. <laughs> these are two fish cleaning stations. Should you have a successful day out here, and should you need to clean some fish and prep it before taking home, the county has provided these tables, these stations, so you can do just that. You can clean your catch, prep it, put it in the bag, and go home with the clean fish. Good morning, how are you? All right, so let's continue. As you can see, the causeway continues to go up and up and up and up and up. I don't remember the dates, but the causeway was used to be a, the, the bridge used to be a drawbridge. And I, I'm, I'm not gonna quote the date, it'll be in the, in the description section I forgot the date I, I want to say 1974 or 84 I'm not sure I'm not don't even quote me but it was closed down and this bridge was built in its place uh, so now it's a causeway and at its highest point it's about 64 feet again I'm not going to try to quote these stats like I know them at the back of my hand but I will correct them they will be listed in the description and there will be links to my source for information so anyway, there's some people going out to spend their day on their boat. I'm hoping the sun does not really ruin this video. If you really want to know, this is the second time I'm doing this. The last time I had my other camera, my GoPro, which uh, for all the great reviews about it, it let me down. I still like the camera, but I was so upset. I won't say anymore. So this is my where I used to come to fish. From here all the way down to the other end. Uh, well, actually, not quite here. I don't like the rocks. I don't like fishing around the rocks. But the rocks, you get hung up, you get caught up, because they're not just right there. Some of them, in some spots, they're not just right here. Sometimes it's a little further out too. You can practically see the shadow where the rocks end. But for some reason, they get caught up further out. From here all the way down to the bend, to the last pavilion, has been my stopping, stomping grounds when I used to come out here to fish pretty regularly. And I love it, it's one of my favorite places. So let's see what this pavilion number is. See the poles? The posts with the pole holders? There's average two of them per post. And then there's a bait station. And so this, see this pavilion, just like all the others, has one grill, two tables. So, uh, and this is pavilion number five. Can't see if the camera got it. Sun's in the way, yeah, number five. So let's get the number of the big one and we'll talk some more. So I think the ones that are reservable are the big ones. And this is one of the big ones, and this is my favorite pavilion. If I come fishing, this is the one I want to come to all the time. This one is number six. This is pavilion number six. Bam. Now this has six tables, just like the other one. 
uh, there used to be a small grill here. They took it down a long time ago. So now there's only one of those large, big family group type grills, which is the one I like the most. Because you can cook on half of it, or you can cook on all of it. Man, you can have a good time on that thing. And of course, yeah. Good morning, how are you, sir? Good. All right. And of course, there's, there's uh, uh, people out here sunbathing, relaxing. So here, this is what it looks like. You've got a bait, a cut bait table. You got a post with pole, with pole holders. You got a couple of them right here in front of the grill, in front of the grill, in front of the pavilion. And then conveniently, there's a bait cleaning station. I mean, there's a, oh God, excuse me, there's a fish cleaning station. Uh, table station, I call it a station, I gave it a name. And uh, as a matter of fact, since the last time I saw it, it's been rebuilt. <laughs> it was built with wood and then the table. Now they, they have a metal stand underneath it. Great, great. So. So have you been, hi sir. I'm filming, is it okay to film you? I've already started, is it okay? Sure, Okay, fantastic. So. She, Okay, oh, that's good. <laughs> Jennifer was asking you. I didn't hear the full conversation. Uh, have you caught anything? Did you no. catch? You have not. No. That's a shame. How long have you been on? Hey, your suspenders is a ruler, too. That's. Of <laughs> you, you gotta know if you're within code, right? <laughs> so, so how long have you been here? Oh, I've been here since about nine. Oh, okay. Anybody else catching? You see anybody catch anything? Okay. I don't like hearing that. I don't know where the fish is gone. Yeah. And have you seen any dolphins? Because usually, you know, usually either water's bad or the dolphins are here or some other combination. Well, but the tide is pretty high, so it's a great opportunity. Well, the uh, couple of years ago, we had that green algae come in. Yes. It killed all the seagrass. Yes. And that, that, that helps keep them away. And that means there's no place for the baby fish to hide. Which does baby it. fish to hide. Mm -hmm. And... And I've the predators. Here, I've been here in Florida since 2011. Uh huh. And this is the first time they've ever had a uh, limit or a closed season on redfish and trout. Is that in effect now? Oh wow! I used to come here a lot until that algae thing happened, and I came to this pavilion frequently, almost daily for weeks and weeks and weeks, and then I wouldn't come for a while, and I would go to other places. But this was my go-to spot, yeah. and I tell you, if I wasn't catching, somebody else was catching. There was almost never a day that I went home without either a fish that I caught or somebody gave me because they don't want it, you know? Yeah. And it was a wonderful place to be, and you've got shelter, and, and you've got a bathroom, which I didn't come to yet, folks. There's a bathroom, uh, uh, and, and, and great. You can't ask for a better place, you okay. know? And, and I don't know if it's still there, the electrical plug used to be accessible. I think I think they capped it off. Since, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, underneath, underneath, or close to where the water the water fountain is at. Oh, okay. There used to be an accessible AC plug, wow. so you could charge your phone at the time. <laughs> I've even seen people with an extension cord run back to that to that one or this one, and it was it was great, man. It was it was, and then the algae thing happened. Yeah. And when the algae thing happened, it messed everything up for the whole county. Uh, and 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 I, from my my opinion. It has never, it has not recovered yet. You know, it's, it's I, coming. I have, I have seen some dolphin down here. Okay. But uh, I normally, since there's nothing here, I go up to Fort Pierce and watch out of there. Okay, okay. Out of J.C. Park. J.C. Park. Is that is that over there by the... Um, you go the, across by, the bridge. Yeah. Across the bridge. Uh, you turn right there at the uh, end of the park. Yeah, yeah. Jetty Park. Yeah. And you go down about a mile, there and some right. Even, oh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. There used to be some pillars there, some yeah. pylons. Yeah. I used to go there when it wasn't accessible. You have to drive down this dirt, bumpy road, and you get there. That was great fishing, too. That was great fishing. So now I go north of the North Bridge. Okay, well, I'm going to start up again. Hey, I got to keep going, man. I want to shake your hand. My name is Tony. What's your name? Martin. Martin. Nice to meet you, Martin. Yeah, I, and you're a vet. I'm a vet. Thank you for, for your service. Branch. I was Air Force. What was your FSC? Uh, I don't want to say it on the camera, but I was a type of electrician. I was an alarm maintenance electrician. I worked for alarm maintenance. I fixed alarm systems, fire and intrusion detection systems. So uh, I, could, I could edit it out. Maybe I, I won't. Was, I was... I was, oh, you! I didn't realize you said Air Force up there. Hey, okay. I was uh, aircraft mechanic the first four years. Really? Okay. And then, the, then the second seven, I was a ground radio technician. Really? Yeah. Technician. Yeah. Okay. So alarm, my alarm maintenance shop and your shop probably has some contact. Oh 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Nice meeting you, buddy. Pleasure Good luck. You. Have a great day. Thank you. Okay. All right. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, there you go. See? Friend, people are friendly like heck, like, heck, like heck out here. So here we go. Here's the other pavilion. Another small pavilion. Oh, you're just getting started. You didn't get a chance to catch anything yet, did you? Uh-huh. You didn't get a chance to catch anything yet, did you? Catch something. You, can, you caught something? What'd you get? Can I can I film it? Is it okay? Is it okay? Okay. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Como se llama? Juan. Juan Antonio. Ah, my 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 Spanish is so bueno. Cuál cuál es el contribuyo? El el my cuál el país tuyo? What? Who? El Caribe or? Uh, Santa, Santa Cruz. Oh, Santa. Santa Cruz. Yes. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> oh, we got nice blues in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look at that. First good fish. Look at that. Let's see his catch. Look at that. Wait, I gotta get a film on it. Nice blue. I like blues. I like blues. And this this way I used to catch the most of when I was here was a blue. And for you people up north, I know you're gonna say those are small. Yeah. We know they're bigger up north, but this is the Florida blue, and he's a, and he's a good size. <laughs> Take care, man. Have a great day. Okay. All right. And here we go. Here's the bathroom. Here's let's show the front of the bathroom. Jamaica. 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 Yeah. So here we go. Um, men's bathroom, women's bathroom. As I was saying to that gentleman over there, they used to be an AC plug around here. They capped that sucker off a long time ago. Actually, I think it's behind the waste bin. <laughs> yeah, it was free electricity for a long time. <laughs> and boy did it get used <laughs> so anyway here's a playground so you come out here and you um oh and we have a clean up behind your pet station you know don't let your animals run wild wherever you go man clean up behind your animals we all i love animals to death but i don't like animal poop you know especially you know you got all this grass and you got a kid's playground right here. Look at the kitties on there. They're having fun. You know, people don't want them. kids, and you don't want your kids stepping in poop. You know, so please, you know, as a public service, clean up behind your animals, please. So here we go. More notices. Here, people over here doing their thing, trying to catch some fish. Again, two tables. And this one has a large grill. That's different. All the small pavilions, it's number eight. All the small pavilions have the smaller grill. That's interesting. So here we have the playground. Let's see what the notes are. Let's see one, two, three, four. At least four. Four tables you can sit and watch your children. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk across that. Picture that. There we go. Here's the other side. We'll be there in a second. Let's go down. There's swings, there's a jungle gym, and I don't know what you call that thing kids would know but I don't know and walking on the mat is nice and spongy so if you fall you don't get hurt so for some reason over here is fenced in they're always doing some kind of work always always the place has changed a bit since I've been here last but it's all for the good they've changed some things they've moved some things they've changed some things you know all for the good. So, oh wow, we might get there in time to see this boat go through the channel. Go under the bridge. So, there's a nice, another nice little spot to fish. This gentleman's in a nice spot. I consider it to be a great spot. How you doing, buddy? Uh, you? I'm okay. You catch anything? No. You're in a good spot, though. I expect you to. Uh, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Say hi to me. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hey, I'm on YouTube, Rudy P T V. Okay. Look for me, please. I will. I need a subscriber, I need a friend. Okay. And you can talk to me about your favorite fishing hole because I'm gonna start fishing again. Yes. And I need some info. What's your name? Milton. Milton? Yeah. I'm Tony. Nice, to, nice meet to meet you. Remember Rudy P T V. Okay. Look for me. Rudy P T V. Thank you. Sure. Alright, take care, buddy. Alright. Oh, you got another guy in a great spot. You caught something, right? No, not yet. Oh, how long you been here? Uh, about 15 minutes. Oh, okay. You're going to catch something. This is a great spot, man. Yeah, this is a great spot. Take care. Have a good day, man. All right, all right. Oh, and of course, 
no day out would not be complete without the pigeons. But we need to talk about another bird. There's one right there. Right there. Just there he is right there. I ah, can't catch him. The blackbirds. These are the resident thieves. Ah, the resident thieves, those blackbirds. Trust me when I tell you, if you leave your bait laying around, there's two of them. Here comes some more. Oh. I'm gonna stop this and try to zoom on them. I tried to get them, but I couldn't get them. These are the resident thieves. See if I can't. There's another boat going in, but I want you to see these blackbirds. If there's anything called a thief out here, it's these guys. They will rob you blind. All right. How you doing, buddy? You catching? Huh? They ready? Oh, great, great, great. You're doing good. Yeah, you been here long? Have you been here long? Okay. Well, listen, man, I'm, I'm, I'm asking. Check out Rudy P. TV. My name is Tony, Rudy P. TV on YouTube. I'll put you on there. Take care. Have a great day, man. All right. Oh, what's this sign here? Let's see what it says. Oh, okay. If you catch one, cut the line loose to hook, keep it in the water, and report it. Okay. It's a small tooth sawfish. I've never seen one, but there's a information on it right there. I hear the guys out here doing their fishing. Oh, maybe this time we can get a good picture of the channel rules. If I have to, if I, hey, how you doing? If I have to uh, stop the video and do a zoom on it, I'm gonna get it this time. So, warning. Yeah. Uh oh, sorry, what did I do? I popped something. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we're gonna miss. Oh, here we go. Here comes the boat going through. See if we can't catch them going through. Can you see the pelicans through there? Now, some people believe that this channel is a no wake, is a no wake zone. There may be no wake zones in the county, but according to Martin County, this is a minimum wake zone. Uh, I guess it could be self-explanatory, minimum wake, no wake. Look at the pelicans. And they're not moving because this person is cleaning the fish, so they're gonna keep an eye on snacks. Good morning. Is that a perch? Huh? A who? I don't know that. May I film it, if you don't mind? I just, just, just want to look at you. Say it again on the camera, if you don't mind. This is a Maharo. A Maharo. I'm gonna look that up. That I don't know. Okay, great. Okay, so here we are just in time. Here comes a couple of boats. We've got to film that channel, those channel rules. So let's, I'm gonna stop. Back to video so we can catch these guys coming through. A small tug. And he powers it up. That's a tow boat. That's the equivalent of a tow truck on land. You call that guy and he tells you when you're stranded somewhere. <laughs> I wonder if AAA has, <laughs> has rates for that. Look at this boat. This is a nice looking boat. That's a nice looking boat. That's a nice looking boat, ain't it? That'd be a great boat to spend the day, the afternoon on it, something like that. And if you look look in front of the, uh, I guess the helm, they got all that cabin space down below. Probably the size of a nice little living room. That's a nice looking boat. I have no idea what something like that would cost, but I would love something like that. And here comes a bunch of boats coming in. Guess we're here right on time. 
one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, that's the one leaving. And there's something really big further down. Oh, my God, this place is busy. You see some of the most amazing things from little dinghies to big, huge, beautiful, wonderful yachts or luxury boats or whatever you want. Here's a pontoon boat. Uh, people love those things. I, I don't know. Hey, somebody's waving. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Have fun! Yep, yep, yep. Really busy day. Okay, let's move on. So, uh oh. Oh, there's a jet skier out there. Let's see. Now, that's how you come and spend your day. Anytime I go jet skiing, I'm hoarse by the end of the day. I lose my voice. I'm so happy yelling and screaming. All right, let's make our way back to the front. Take care. Have a good day, y'all. Good luck. All right. I hope you catch a whale, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming out next week. <laughs> All right. Get a pelican coming in. All right. This is a wonderful place, man. I've been here, I've been here all hours of the night. Or you might want to call it the morning. I've been here one, two, three o'clock in the morning. You know, dark, it's gotten windy. I've even been out here when it rained and we were still catching. That's why we didn't leave, because we were catching. Besides, we wouldn't stay out here that late if we weren't catching. So we were catching and uh, it was wonderful. This is why I like this place, you know. And then, and then the camaraderie. What's that? That's a ribbon? ribbon yeah. Look at him. He's got lots of bones, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not worth eating. Nah. Yeah. Is that your first for the day? Uh, yes. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Boy, look at his teeth. Oh, he's got some sharp teeth, front teeth. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Jesus. You don't want your fingers caught in that. River fish. Okay, good luck to you, buddy. Thank you. All right, all right. All right. All right. See? So one or two people have caught something. Camaraderie. You're meeting nice people out here. Oh, when I used to come here, there was no bench there. Look at that. That's comfortable. Great. You know, like I say, I got a couple of disabilities, so the walking and the standing after a while hurts a little bit. So, look at how the waves, the waves are coming in, hitting the wall. From the boats going through the channel, the weight that the boats can create. So, so here we come up on the other side now. Hi, how are you? Okay. I'll find yourself. Okay. All right, all right. Great day. Yeah. Here's another fish cleaning station. Somebody did not clean up behind themselves, but... Another great fish cleaning station. If you're so lucky to catch fish for the day. And there's a bunch of people that park and they, they fish over here. What I don't like about this area, if it's still the same way, is rocks. Again, we've got lots and lots and lots of rocks. But for me, that's a problem. But for some people, it's okay. Morning. How are you? Uh, so, here we go. So, it's nothing better than pulling up your vehicle, open up your trunk. And sit down and you play your music, have your food. Hey, don't don't bite me, doggy. <laughs> Good morning. How are you guys? <laughs> yeah. So you open up your trunk and uh, and uh, spend your day doing what you want to do. Look at this. This is always a nice thing. Back up, open the trunk, put on a little bit of music, have your cooler with some ice and some whether it's soft drinks or hard drinks. And you just have a good time. And I usually did that when I couldn't get the pavilions that I like. Because, you know, this place gets very popular. And um, if you come too late, all the pavilions are gone. So if you're lucky, you can get one of these spots over here where you can reverse and uh, open your trunk. So right here we have the pier. I don't really want to walk the pier. It's going to be very windy. I already don't know what I'm going to do because of the sound of the wind. 
you know, I'm going to try and edit it out, but I would like to get some more of my narration. Good morning, ma'am. I'm finding you. Good luck. All right. Did you just throw something over there or something jump out the water? Hi, did you just throw something? Shrimps don't jump out the water, do they? I saw something small jump out the water there just now. I mean, very tiny. Anyway, how you doing? Good I'm okay. I can't complain. I'm not doing what you're doing. I wish I was. Good luck. Catch a bunch of fish. All right. So here we go. We've got the pier. I don't know how long the pier is. Uh, I've never had much luck on the pier. Uh, well, I'm on rocks. I've never had much luck on the pier. Some people just love the pier. Uh, every time I've gone on the pier, it's been a zero for me. So, again, there's more construction going on here. And the last time I took a peek through, there was a construction barge parked out here. So there's more stuff to come. So, by the time you see this video, something's going to change. And there's the other bathroom, by the way. The bathrooms are pretty well maintained. There's no AC in them, but they've, they're built in such a way that the breeze that comes through them make them feel a lot cooler than the outside air. Somebody paid attention to the breeze and the draft, and, and, and they, they're maintained, pretty well maintained. And police come through here pretty often. So this is a great family place, and it's patrolled. And I, I, if you ask me, I'm going to say it's very damn safe here. And there's Stuart, Bart Stewart. He was a very popular fisherman years ago. There's some history about him. I've got links on him, too. You can find out about him. Very well-loved guy for this area. So they named a lot of things after Mr. Stewart. So there's, there's the other, other boat launch. And, of course, we've got the Pelicans. And so here's the pier. We're not going down the pier, but there it is. As you can see, there's lots of great opportunities down there, too. So there we go. I tell you, it's a great place, man. You can't ask for better. And it's free. You can't ask for better. A free, comfortable, nice, pleasant, safe place. Winning combination. Winning, winning, winning combination. Yeah. So, in the direction we're walking, we can go to the Causeway West, right? And we can either make a right and circle back where we came over by, we'll come out on that side, if we go there, we'll come to Pavilion Number 6, if we do that. But we're going to go straight out. So, uh, actually, what I'd like to do is get the number of this pavilion. I don't know. So, I think the last one on the other side should logically be 7. Let's see. So, I would imagine this pavilion is going to be Number 8. And it has a large grill also. So, the old days when the small pavilions had the small grill... I guess they changed into the large grill for all of them. Oh, there's no number. Wait a minute. Oh, did I miss the number? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I walk right past the number? Didn't see it? This should be number eight. Hey, there's no number on it. There's got to be a mark in some place. Let's see if we can't find it. Good morning. Oh. It's not numbered. This is probably eight. More than likely this is eight. Anyway, let's continue. Uh. Oh, here's some info. Info's great. Here's some info. Let's start with this one. Help protect the North Atlantic whales. All right. Try to get it so you can read it. I'll stay there for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five seconds. <laughs> and here's something about boat, boat and education courses, right? And then here's something about notice to recreation and commercial fishers. I, I try to get close so you can see it, right? And boaters protect seagrass. This is what they were talking about: the, the algae, the algae killed off the seagrass, which made it hard or difficult or impossible for the small fish to feed and once you lose the small fish of course there's not going to be any bigger predator fish and it works right up the chain the small fish can't survive 
there'll be no big fish here to fish. And so there, that's what happened to the great uh, reputation of this area being a great fishing spot. The only people who are really doing well are people who've got boats and they can go out and they can go someplace where with a, a boat, a, uh, what do you call it, a fish, a fish radar, a uh, fish scanner, and uh, they can find the fish, pockets of schools or wherever. But if you're fishing from shore, it was horrible here. It was so good, so great, so nice, and then it got crappy. So look, ample parking, still lots and lots and lots and lots of parking. A lot of these people are on boats and out, out into the water, you know? Let's see. Coming up to another pavilion, another small pavilion. And this one, uh-huh. I knew there was one that did not have a grill. This one has no grill. Let's see if it's numbered. It should be number nine. Let's see. Let's try to get a shot in the front. Morning, guys. Hey, hey I'm fine. I'm fine. You guys have any luck over here? Not yet. We're holding on hope. I hope me too. I hope you get something. Oh, I appreciate that. I imagine this should have been pavilion number nine, but it's not numbered. Number eight, number nine are not numbered. So I Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> Ooh. The rocks are hard to walk on. Especially when you got a foot issue. Yeah, it's not numbered. So my estimation is number eight and number nine are not numbered. Of course we're gonna let them know. So I would assume if they're not numbered, they're not reservable. Only six and six and oh geez, what's the other one? Okay, so so now we're on the we're on the westbound side of the causeway, coming from that from that direction, which is Hutchinson Island, and going in this direction, which is Jensen Beach. Right? So here we go. Lots of nice restaurants. Matter of fact, let's that's Indian River. Oh, what is the road called? The parkway? Indian River? Uh, not highway. That road that you see cars on, it goes all the way along that shore. I can't tell you how far it goes because I've never reached the end, but it avoids lots and lots of lights that you would encounter on US 1. So it is very scenic, and you drive with the scene, with the, with the view of the water to your right. It depends which direction you're going. But if you're going that way, which is north, uh, going that way is north so um, <clears throat> uh, it's very very scenic as I said uh, some nice homes although some of them are getting old and you know they take a beat and I don't know how these people maintain their homes man I know that's another story but when you live so close to the water and that wonderful beautiful view you know there's a price to pay you got the wind constantly you know, every time there's a windy day, your home takes a beating. You know, and after a while, you know, you've got to repair that. So, one of the responsibilities of having a nice, beautiful home with a wonderful, beautiful water view is you got to maintain it because it's going to get wind and water and all kind of uh, weather damage. So, here we go. Let's, nobody's here. Let's investigate a little bit. So... Okay, so we got here two tables. You've got the post that has the pole holders on it. Look at the two on that side and two on this side. The water's pretty shallow. And you got another one here. Uh, I knew the guy who started putting them up here. There was one guy I used to fish. I can't remember his name. Uh, it was Dave. I heard he passed away. So this is an honor to... What was it called? I think his nickname was Slow... Oh, there is a... What did I say? Did I say there's no... Pick, no, no uh, grill. There's one right there. I missed it. I think his nickname was Slow Moving Dave. Really, really, really nice guy. He was pretty sick even back then. Rest in peace. He was a nice dude. There's a lot of nice guys out here. He's just one of the guys I met out here. Slow moving, slow talking, whatever they call them. Something like So, if anybody here is from this area, they know Dave. Hey, correct me. An honor to him. And his grandson. He used to bring his grandson out here. Uh, your little guy. This guy was a heck of a little fisherman. I'm sure he's He's got to be a big teenager by now. Uh, I would not be surprised to hear he's got a boat. <laughs> he's got a boat somewhere and he's doing, doing some commercial fishing. This kid was slow moving or slow talking. Dave he used to pump a lot of information to his grandson. Man, it was, 
It was a great thing. It was a great thing. So here we go. See, on this side, the tide looked high on the other side. The tide is high. If you look at the water level, gosh, can I zoom? If you look at the water level, I'm trying to put my hand so you can see. If you look at the water level right there, the water's high on the pylons holding up the walkway. Now, depending on how high that water is on those poles, it can tell you whether it's high or not. Look at the pier. And if you can see on the pier, you see the watermark, right? And so if the water's below that level, you know it's not full high tide. But it's pretty high. You know, it's, it's on its way. So either it's going or coming. Same thing on the pylon out there. A green pylon out there. If you see the watermark on it and you see the water levels below it, you know it's not high tide. And I'm not sure if it's going to high tide or going to low tide. But, you know. So here we go. Lots of opportunities to fish. And if you don't catch anything, that place over there with the red, the red uh, uh, shade, uh, with doohickeys, whatever you call them, is uh, Conchi Joe's, I believe it is. Nice restaurant. It's pretty good. Uh, there's a couple of good, nice restaurants. I just can't remember the names of all of them. So uh, I've been to that one a few times. So here we go. And again, like I said, ample parking. Look at the traffic. The traffic has slowed down to a crawl going over to the east side of the J Jensen Beach Causeway Park. So here we go. And we're coming to the end of our little walk. I so appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope it's been informative. I'm going to, as I said before, there's all sorts of links that I've left in there. And uh, please go, please comment, say something. I really depend on your comments, your likes, your subscription, your interests, and so forth. I want to interact with you. I want to know what you like, you know. Okay. As that gentleman earlier said, which is very true, uh, fish are coming back. I guess the grass is starting to grow back. And because they're saying that more and more manatees are coming back, and manatees definitely eat the grass. So if the grass is coming back, then the little fish will come. And of course, the little fish come, the bigger fish that want to eat the little fish come, so forth and so on, up the food chain. And then here we come. <laughs> We're in a food chain too. Here we come to get some, <laughs> to catch those fish. So again, have a great day. It's been great having you. Thank you for watching.